Ahoy there folks, I'm Captain Benzi and welcome to a public service announcement regarding the April Balance Update test server. I'm going to be doing a whole load of content based on all the stuff that we see inside the test server, so do make sure you're subscribed to this channel, dinging that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads. There's going to be a lot of little quickfire videos that I'll be putting out to showcase how some things have changed. But first of all, today I wanted to talk about how to actually use the test server because I'm already getting a lot of DMs from folks who are struggling to access it and figure out what exactly is going on here. So, first of all, you need to download the test server. Unfortunately, this does only work on Android because you're downloading an APK, which is kind of like an installer file. Apple's terms of service doesn't allow this, so if you are using iOS, um, like an iPhone or an iPad, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to take part in the test on your regular device. You'll either need to use a backup Android device or download an emulator to a computer and then install the APK to that. If you're, not how to, if you're not sure how to install an APK, go onto Google and type in installing APK and then the name of your device. Unfortunately, it's beyond the scope of this video for me to go through exactly how that works, but essentially download the file, install it, and then try to log in. It'll ask you for a username and password. You can put anything you like here, but make it memorable because you're going to be using it over the next three days in order to log into the test server. You can literally use whatever you fancy. The test server is completely separate from live. There is no crossover here whatsoever. Anything that happens on the test server doesn't affect live and vice versa. Now, once you have created an account, you'll get a standard three character login screen. Start up one of those, pick a name and race and whatever like you would normally. Um, skip through all of the intro cinematics unless you really want to watch them. When you actually dock at your first station, what you'll need to do then is essentially just ignore all the tutorials, they're not going to be important at all, and check your mail. In your mail, there will be a tactical maneuvers supplies. Um, this essentially is going to be what you need to claim. You'll notice here that there is like 10 million ISK, 90 million skill points, 500 plex, and 100 million Lazarus units. Claim these, and now you have access to everything you'll need for the test server. From there, the first thing you're going to need to do is to go into your character select, into your character page here, go to Omega on the right hand side at the top, and activate an Omega clone. You've been given 500 plex, you can go for duo, you can go for basic standard, it really isn't going to matter for this. Just pick one of those, purchase the bundle so that you have Omega on your account and you can access everything you need to. From here, you will then have enough skill points from that 90 million to take you all the way up to tech level 10. You can see I've gone to tech level 10, I've used a whole ton of these skills, and um, I still have two and a half million left. Put these into what you want to test. There's not enough here to get every single skill in the game, but for me, for example, you'll see that I have maxed out Frigate Command, Destroyer Command, Cruiser Command, Afterburner, Micro Warp Drive, a load of the small weapon stuff, a load of things like shield, armor operation, defense upgrades, these kind of things, just stuff that I'm going to use for actually testing. Now, of course, you might sit there and say, but I want to be testing battleships, and I want to be testing cruisers, and I want to be testing frigates and destroyers. Well, you do have a hundred million worth of Lazarus units, which of course you can go in and you can use these to respec here. You can see their free quotes are a hundred million um, to respec what I need to. Of course, you can create multiple characters as well. This character is going to be mainly focusing on frigates, destroyers, and cruisers. I have another character set up that'll be looking at things like battle cruisers and battle ships, and you can do things that way. The three uh, different clones that you can have can all be completely differently skilled to let you check into stuff. You'll also notice that every single skill in the game, let's go all the way down here to something like, and uh, let's look at the capitals. So Dreadnought Command. If you open this, you'll see it's only 10 isk to train any of these skills. Everything on the test server costs exactly 10 isk. Now, I've shown Dreadnought Command here, but I would actually caution you against going into capitals. There are not many changes to capital ships in this patch. If you want to test capitals because you fly them on live, awesome. Skill into them, give them a go. But I'm already seeing a lot of people basically just going, cool, I've got access to capitals, that's all I'm doing for the next three days. That's not helping with the test. It's cool to get to fly the capitals and see what they're like, but do make sure you spend some of this test time actually flying ships that you fly on live and see how they change so that you can give feedback to the developers. It is vital that we give feedback on these things. There are already some changes that I have seen that do need a little bit of tweaking. Um, 
and I'll be giving feedback to the developers. Of course, if you leave feedback in the comment section of my Discord or on uh, comment section of YouTube or direct messages on Discord or Twitter or wherever, I'll still pass that on to the developers. But there is a feedback form that I'll link in the description of this video as well that you can send feedback to the devs. So if you spot something and you're like, oh, I don't like how this has changed. I think this is a bad change overall, not just, oh, I really liked my nightmare with an amazing shield field module and triple extenders stacked. Um, things that you think like, okay, no, I, I get why they've nerfed it, but I think they've gone too far or actually they buffed this a bit too much, things like that. Give this as feedback. That is why we're here on this test server to make sure that the April balance update is as smooth and good for the entire community as possible. So again, I hate that I have to say this, but I've seen the suggestions channel on Discord. Please don't use this to troll. I'm asking really nicely here. Please do not just troll the developers with stupid suggestions and changes. They are already going to have a lot of stuff to go through. If you make it harder, you are risking negatively impacting the entire game. I know some people are going to do it anyway. In fact, some people are probably going to do it purely because I've asked you nicely not to. But please. I implore you, take this seriously, use this as an actual opportunity to make the game better. So, you've got your skill point set, you've got all of your ISK and your Omega clone is active, you can now go into the market and you can pick anything here pretty much, anything that has had significant changes. There are some ships missing, Nina's already messaged me saying, why is there no Harbinger? I really wanted to test how things work on the Harbinger now and it's not available. But pick a ship, for example, you decide that, oh, okay, I normally fly a Condor 2 Interceptor, I want to see how those changes have actually affected it. Tap on it and you'll notice that these are now seeded at every ITC in the game for 10 ISK each. Everything is 10 esque, and I do literally mean everything is 10 esque. If it's on sale, it's 10 esque. So pick the Condor Interceptor, then go into like the weapons if you want to be using, not decomposers, missile launchers. Now you'll notice that things like the Mark 9s and the C types and th things like that are not available here on the market. All of the items here are meta level 8. This is in order to kind of keep everything balanced on the same tech level, so you don't have everyone just going full B types and C types and all that kind of craziness on it. It's to give a sensible sort of um, reference point for testing. So here you can see, if you go to any ITC, I can buy a load of disciplined small missile launches. I want to buy a load of these because I want to be testing a load of different ships that use them. So I'm going to buy 10 of those, and those are already there. 10 isk a pop, nice and easy. And the same goes for things like the mid slots. This is actually a really cool way to see some of the stuff that normally you wouldn't be able to. So for example, because it's all the meta level eight stuff, if you want to try a warp scrambler, it is actually the predator warp scrambler. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could buy these for 10 isk on the uh, on the live server? Never gonna happen, but of course, if you do need them, you can just kind of go, cool, I want to buy 10 of those so I can fit to different ships and off we go. Same goes with rigs, you'll find the three, uh, the Type 3s are available, um, so like Auxiliary Thruster 3, uh, Cannon Stasis Meta uh, Adjuster 3, that kind of thing, uh, Meta Stasis Adjuster, that kind of thing is all available there for 10 isk. So you can buy a whole load of stuff, give it a tryout, fit it to a different ship, and get some really cool ideas as to what exactly is going on in regards to the different ships and different things that you want to try out on the server here. Now again, I am going to be putting out a whole ton of videos over the next few days, looking at some of the changes that I've noticed and I'm most excited about. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel um, and good luck in the test. Like, use this as an opportunity. It's tempting just to fly capitals and carriers and be like, wee, look at me. But ultimately, you're not really doing anything other than actually minimizing how good it's gonna feel when you finally get one of those on live, if that's what you want to do. Get out there, get with your friends, start testing stuff, and let me know how you get on. I would genuinely love, I, I do not have enough time to test literally everything. So I am going to be relying on you folks commenting in YouTube and sending me stuff on Discord. Send me screenshots, show me what you've been doing. If you can record footage on your phone using something like AZ Recorder or whatever it is that you can use for as a screen recorder, save that footage send it to me. I would love to use this in videos to show people some of those changes. Anyway, folks, that wraps things up for this video. Hope you find that useful. Good luck on the test server. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of changes stick if they do adjust any of this. And of course, I'm going to be on here testing the ever-living heck out of everything just to see what's changed. So stay tuned if you want to keep an eye on all of that. Thanks for watching this one right the way to the end, folks. Happy sailing and see you in New Eden.